name is James. Today I have a very tasty and easy recipe for you guys to try and to make at home. We're going to be making some chicken parm. Now I'm going to be doing a bit of a different variation today of it and in this video I'm going to give you a few options if you want to modify or change any of the ingredients as well you can and hopefully give you a few ideas as well if you want to uh, change it to your liking. So before we get started today be sure to subscribe and like the video as always and if after this video be sure to check out the rest of my videos that I have up on my YouTube channel as I have many many tasty easy and useful recipes on my YouTube channel. So let's get started with the recipe. This recipe has about three components to it. We're going to be first making the basil tomato sauce, then we're going to be cooking or flattening and frying the chicken, and then of course we're also going to be either doing pasta or a nice little side salad or both. You have a few options. So. For the basil tomato sauce, we're just going to peel and slice some shallots. We're going to saute with the shallots, hot pan, oil on the pan, saute the shallots, do the same with the garlic, add the garlic in, and then if you have some white wine, you can add a little bit of white wine to it to let it reduce. It'll sweeten the sauce, it'll enhance the flavor. Then if you have some fresh Roma tomatoes, I would dice some of those up and add them. Or if you have a can of tomato sauce, you can add what, whatever is easier for you. If you have the fresh tomatoes or canned tomato sauce. Then we're just going to add a bit of thyme, oregano, and of course basil, because this is basil tomato sauce, so you add basil in it. But I'm going to add the basil at the end, just before I blend it. And of course, salt and pepper it, taste the sauce, after you blend it, we're going to leave it back on the stove and let it reduce. Yes, so all the flavors will enhance. Also, while you're making the basil tomato sauce, if it's a little too acidic, be sure to add a little bit of white sugar to it so it counteracts the acidity because nobody likes heartburn. Trust me, it'll help. So I lesson on how to clean a chicken fillet. And my goodness, that's just one piece of chicken. That was a massive bird. All right, so. You have a few pieces of fat. You want to remove all the fat that you can and kind of square it off. Now, along here, you see this line of fat. Well, really, along this line is a ligament that you want to remove and take out because this is not the piece that we're going to use. We're going to use this for another thing and we're just going to use the main piece and we're going to butterfly it. So you can turn it on its side, on its back, such as this. You're going to follow these lines here, as you see the veins running across, and you can just cut down with your knife. Just cut down to remove it completely, such as this. That we're going to leave for another thing. And then the rest of this, as you can tell, this is part of the ligament, and then we finish the ligament here. So you just want to remove it as such. And then any small pieces, such as this, any other pieces of ligament, or any sinew you want to remove, and any veins, if you see any veins, you want to remove them as well. Now once you have the main piece cleaned, this side piece here, as you see here, is I pref this is the reason why I prefer smaller birds because a lot of the sinew is a lot smaller, you don't notice it as much and it's just not as prevalent. This you want to cut off. Then there's another piece, as you see here, this is the continuation of that sinew. So once you have all the sinew off and no bones and it's more or less clean, we want to lay the fillet out as such and you want to start on the inside and I'm going to slowly, with my chef's knife, put my hand on the top to keep it stable and slowly slice back and forth, not too hard. And then you're just going to use the tip of the knife to come down the end here, just to open it. That's it. Not too much. And you can check yourself. Got a little more, a little more. And we want to basically cut this, not all the way through, but just until it becomes flat. So once you have it more or less like this, this side is still a little thicker than the bottom. You can take a bit of parchment paper, lay it out, one on the bottom, and 
one on top. Take a rolling pin, or if you have a mallet, you can use one as well. And we're just going to roll. We're going to flatten this. So once you're done, you can peel off the parchment paper and it's bigger. It's also more tender. And like I said, if you don't have, want to use a rolling pin, you take a mallet or a heavy pot. But don't destroy the chicken because if you hit too hard, you can just destroy it. We're not going to be using breadcrumbs today. I'm going to be doing it a little differently, but I'm still using flour. Now, if you have a gluten allergy, I would suggest using either chickpea flour or almond flour or another type of flour, though, to use so you don't have any allergic reactions. Um, and chickpea flour can be a very good alternative. And chickpeas is garbanzo, so garbanzo beans. Now, with the egg wash, we're going to add Parmesan cheese to it. Add a decent amount. And instead of using our breadcrumbs, this is what we're going to use instead. It's going to be a Parmesan and egg wash. Okay, before we start, salt the chicken, both sides. Flip it around, salt again. All right, then we're going to put it in the flour. Shake off the extra flour. We don't want any extra on here. Then we're going to add it to the egg wash. While this is sitting in the egg wash, we're gonna get the pan hot. We're going to put the pot on, add about a tablespoon or so of oil, and then get it hot before we add the chicken. If you're not using breadcrumbs, make sure the bowl is close to the pot so you don't drip. So add it in the pan. We're, we want a little bit of color on it. We're gonna cook this for about two and a half to three minutes on each side, and we're only gonna turn it once. And then while this is cooking, we're gonna get a pot of water on. We're gonna add salt, oil, and we're going to bring it up to a boil, and we're going to cook some pasta. Now, drop the pasta in, wait 30 seconds, spin the pasta in a circular motion to then push it into the pot. We don't want to break it because it's spaghetti. We want it long, and then cook it to your liking. So I like mine al dente, so, you know, eight minutes, more or less. And then that's it. Once the chicken's ready, I'm going to take it off and add a little more Parmesan cheese. You can add mozzarella on top if you want, another type of cheese, and just pop it in the oven. Uh, let that melt, and then we're ready to eat. We have everything ready. We have our chicken, we have the pasta, and we have the tomato sauce, and then I'm also gonna make a little side salad. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this recipe of making some chicken parmesan. It's a very simple recipe and if you make, like I said before, if you make extra, like extra tomato sauce and you make extra of these things, it's also cheaper because then you're not wasting money on either electricity or gas to make it, on extra food, you have leftovers that you can use up, a lot of ideas and you can make other things out of this as well. So, thank you for watching. Be sure to check out the rest of my videos that I have on my YouTube channel. I have a ton of recipes of all different types and sorts, Spanish recipes as well. And check out the rest of my travel videos if you're also interested on the places that I've been recently as well. So, thank you for watching guys, and I'll see you again very soon.